Hi there, Miss Walker here, friendly 8th grade science teacher in AISD, and today we're going to be talking about atoms. This, what you see right here, is a model of the atom. It's going to be your life in science for the next several weeks, so get excited. It's super cool and does so many neat things. We're going to start off today by going inside the atom. And our goal is to learn the three particles that make up the atom and what each of them does. So let's take a moment to look. We have one, we have two, and we have three. These guys are called subatomic particles. Do not be afraid of this word. Subatomic, 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 subatomic. It just means what's inside the atom. Here's a cool picture. Take a second to see if you can figure out how many types of subatomic particles there are inside this model of the atom. Did you say three? Boom, three. Great job. Here, I'll show you. We have these red guys, we have these blue guys, and we have these black guys. They're not really red, blue, and black. This just helps us to see and differentiate between each of them. We're going to start with just one and focus on this for a minute. Say it with me. Proton. Proton, proton, proton. What do you notice about the proton when you look at it? There are a couple of important things when it comes to this guy. First, he's really big. Massive. And he's always positive. You know that person in your life that it doesn't matter what's going on, they're always smiling and happy, there's nothing you can say to them to upset them, they have a positive outlook, that's the proton, positive. Say it with me, proton, positive, proton, positive. Don't forget about this guy, he's going to help us as we move our way through atoms, he's really important. As we saw in the beginning, there are three types of subatomic particles that live in the atom. No matter what atom we're looking at, we can always find these three subatomic particles. We're going to start now with the proton. Boom. Oh yeah, he's massive and he has a plus inside of him, so we know he's positive. And then we see this guy here and we see another guy out here. Keep in mind, they're not really yellow, orange, and white. This just helps us to see what's going on. The next subatomic particle we're going to focus on right here, he hangs out with the proton. He's the neutron. He's super chill. You say, hey, Mr. Neutron, want to go for a hike with me? And he says, nah, man, I'm chill. He's not upset, and he's certainly not excited. He's chill. This is your friend that is always up to watch a movie or play video games, but isn't really excited about either. And he's definitely not going to go for a run with you. This is the neutron. The neutron is also really massive, just like the proton. He doesn't make the atom more positive, though, like we learn the proton does. And he doesn't make it more negative. He just makes it bigger because he's so massive. Isn't that crazy? Inside the neutron, there is no charge. We're going to call this neutral. Okay, so remember how many subatomic particles we have. Three. We've already focused on two, the proton and the neutron. And we've talked about how they are really big, massive. What do you notice right away is different about this third little guy? That's right, he's so little. This little bitty thing is called the electron. Let's say it, electron, electron, electron. So far we know electrons are super small. So let's do a quick check. True or false? If we added a bunch of electrons to this atom, hanging out outside here, is it gonna make this atom a lot more massive? If you think yes, that's true. If you think no, that's false. It is absolutely false. The electron is so small, it doesn't even matter how many there are, it's not going to have an impact on the mass of that atom. It's crazy, right? So small. So, what does an electron do then? He's sitting there hanging out. He's not happy like the proton. It doesn't matter what you ask the electron, he's always in a bad mood. This is your friend that is on the hunt for drama. You cannot make them happy. 
He doesn't want to hang out and chill. He's all over the place and he's super upset and annoyed about it all the time. He's really negative. So when we look at this, we, look, we talked about how small the electrons are. Notice this guy isn't really small. This might be a better representation, but no model is really perfect. Check it out. It's so tiny and crazy negative. Let's do a quick recap. So we have one proton, one neutron, and one electron. We've already learned a lot of things about these guys. The proton, for example, really big, really massive, and really positive. The neutrons, also really massive, but really chill. In science terms, we're going to say no charge or neutral. The electrons, so, 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 so tiny. Beep and crazy negative. Let's take this information and do a practice question together based on all the awesome information you just locked into your amazing brain. Okay, when looking at this atom, you are now certain it has how many protons? Did you say three? You're amazing. We've got one, two, three red circles with pluses in them, and these are indicators of protons. We see that they're big. We also see they have a plus in them. Neutrons, take a chance. Did you say four? You're amazing. This looks different than the atoms before, but we have four circles with an N in them, and that's an indicator to us that that's for the neutrons. Electrons, did you say three? That's amazing. We have three electrons and each of them has a negative sign out beside them. So that lets us know what we have going on. We're going to take this and we're going to extend ourselves to the next level with a more rigorous question based on what we've just learned. Let's do it. Check yourself. All atoms have three different particles that exist inside them and give them their characteristics, such as if they are positive or negative, which we've learned about, or if they are likely to react, or if they are stable. We have not talked about this at all. You do not care. You can answer this question. Identify the subatomic particle in the center of the atom that is responsible for adding mass to the atom, but does not have an impact on the charge of the atom. Is it A, proton, B, neutron, C, electron, or D, nucleus? Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Did you say neutron? That would be correct. You are amazing. Have a wonderful rest of your day and go be awesome in science. Miss Walker here checking out.